Some things are factual, like the news. And some things are true, like this story. In the days when the people had forgotten about the land, Los Angeles was a dry and barren place. The hills were on fire. Everything was burning. Yet the people were in a hurry, and they couldn't stop to ask why. There was sickness everywhere, but the people looked the other way. The people were scared. They hid inside their houses and tried to make it on their own. But then something changed. They began to miss each other, and little by little they started to gather. It felt good to be with other people. They started to share food, and they talked to untangle the net of confusion and fear. They started to sing and pray and make music to soothe their souls. They started to tell stories about things they loved, green grassy hills and fresh streams to drink from. They dared to imagine what a more beautiful world could be. They prayed for answers and looked for help. They shared visions of loving their place. They imagined good food coming from their own gardens. They shared what seeds they had, and they learned to grow more. Investors saw the profit in improving the land. Investment dollars turned toward land restoration. It became known in financial markets that the most valuable investment was in creating rainfall from tending the soil the people made music and movies about a new way of being. Television picked up on the stories of what was going on in this little canyon in the heart of Hollywood. That became the news. Tonight really is about dreaming in what's possible. I think that what the birdhouse has always represented is this place where you can come live and imagine what you can do for work. Today's dream harvest is to figure out how we can harvest a new series of inspirational thoughts or ideas that will allow us to carry the birdhouse vision forward. Um, but how could it be informed by the folks themselves? So tonight is really about that. The Band of Singers did a performance that was focused on creating the ecological renaissance of the world. And now hopefully the open mic night will be an extension of that exploration of what inspires others to create that world that we uh, have committed ourselves to create. Close your eyes and just let it resonate through all the cells in your body. Um, and in your mind's eye, envision that that ecological renaissance of your wildest dreams. So we'll hum all together. Inhale and what singing does it's a natural bridge between the mind and the heart and I think that that's what we're really here to do uh, singing is an opportunity for me to really release what's been compartmentalized and unify it in some way uh, so the band of singers has been a real blessing although at first I was hesitant to join the thing I was like no I don't want to sing uh, they still drew me in and I felt like it was a bit of healing that I didn't know that I needed um, and then what it made me do is it made me realize that when I was a kid I'd love to dance, I love to sing, I love theater. So it brought back all of these memories of, of when I enjoyed just being free. I'm Tanisha Boudreaux. I'm a friend of Johnny and Bella's. And so I've been around for the last year or so watching how the birdhouse has really grown and being able to come together and meet like-minded people that are interested in the same things I've networked tonight. So being able to do that under such a beautiful cover with beautiful people and a beautiful garden, I mean, what more can you ask for? 
came down and groves of citrus, olives, and avocado grew. From the once barren hills, streams flowed into pools of carpets of fresh mint and cascades of nasturtium. There was a calm in the air. In the canyons rang the wheel of good fortune to mark the great turning. Yay! Woo! Woo! 